Welcome, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. <laughs> whatever part of the time that you're watching us now, whatever time of day it is, and you're oh, yeah, that's true. neck of the woods. That's from a quote from um, the TV newsman, meteorologist, what's his name? Um, the bald headed guy. Bald head. On NBC. And you're neck of the woods. Come on, he's from Cleveland. I can't think of his name right now. I can't think either. I just no. had a, a brain I do remember that freeze. phrase, though. Now it's making me mad. He comes on every day. What's his name? Good weather man. Bald? Yeah, with glasses. Huh. He lost a whole bunch of weight. I was like, man, that's how I want to do. Like he did. Huh. I can't think of his name. Somebody oh, tell me. Oh, Al, Al Roker? There you go. Al. <laughs> I'm thinking more local news. Okay. That's why I missed it. What's up, everybody? How you doing today on this beautiful day? Hey, y'all. We're going to jump into this conversation. This thing has a lot of uh, traction. I haven't read it. You read it? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, we'll read it. Let us know where you're checking in at. We're part of the country. We want to show you some love today. As we get ready to read this letter, you want to start it off? Sure. Feel free. You can call in as well today, y'all. Uh, the number, 888-409-0931. Okay. Dear Sam, I've been dating my boyfriend for seven and a half months now. He's still married, but he has been legally separated from his wife for just over a year now. I've had a guard up from previous bad relationships, but recently I've let it down. Last week I came across a post on Facebook announcing that he and his wife are having a baby. <clears throat> she has been pregnant the entire time I've known him and I had no idea. He never once told me. I brought it up to him and he said he was so sorry. He was afraid to tell me because he loves me and was scared I'd leave. He says that he is about he is happy about the baby but doesn't know what to do about his wife. He feels like he would be wrong to leave her uh, because of the baby, but he feels like it would be wrong to stay because of the baby too. He says he's so confused. I'm not mad about his having a baby with his wife. I'm madder that he chose to keep it from me. This was a huge shock to me. How should I handle this situation? Because I'm confused myself. What are you confused about? What's up to Chicago? Everybody in Chicago, how you doing? Valerie, how you doing? Everybody <laughs> in Phoenix, Arizona, how you doing? <laughs> Do me a favor and share this video. Share this video. Share it to your Phoenix friends. Share it to everybody in Chicago. Share it to your Cleveland friends. Well, you know our people. They, they're going to give it to you straight. No chaser. Yeah, let's read these comments before I see what i got to say. <laughs> Selena said, uh, um, you sound stupid. Mm. Mad at a married man not telling you about his baby on the way is your concern? 
Oh my God, this is the reason for trust issues. Does anyone have any respect for relationships and commitment anymore? So sad. <laughs> uh, just call me, Char said. I'm confused on why you're confused. You had no business dating him in the first place. Separated is still married. You fell for the okie doke. Get yourself together and go about your business. When you know better, you're supposed to do better. And Michelle said, uh, walk the F away. That's the only thing you should do. End of story. Yeah. Deborah, all the way from Hawaii. How you doing? Uh, thank you, uh, Carolyn, for letting me know about Al. Oh, she says, dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, uh, what's going on? Share with your friends and love to connect with some old folks I probably haven't seen in a while. So do me a favor and share the video. Uh, share it to the wild, wild hunts, to the west side, to the east side, to the north side. All right, more comments. What you got? All right. Um, I don't know what what's Pearl talking about with double voice. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Sonia says sounds like she struggles from serious self esteem issues. Mm -hmm. This is. Simple, you don't need advice when you're messing around with a married, dishonest man, duh. And Pearl said, let yourself out of that relationship. Yeah. So let me get this right. <laughs> he separated, right? Yeah. He separated. He told her he was separated. And then he saw on Facebook that... Um, that him and his wife are having a baby, which means that, and she said they was pregnant the whole. She was pregnant the whole time. Yeah, they've been together seven and a half um, months. When is the baby coming? Now this gonna add up everything for you, woman. Now I'm a dude. Now women, y'all good at numbers. Add this all up. You've been with him for seven months, and he just announced that they have a baby. Like, is she just not giving me how the baby, or she was already pregnant? Yeah, not even, he didn't even announce it to her. He announced it in a Facebook post. Oh, yeah. Girl, you better listen. Save face. Don't go off. Don't embarrass yourself like that. Yeah. Just move on. You know what I mean? Just move on. You would have to. All the signs were there that he was still with his wife. You just ignored them. Every sign you needed to know. But if they were legally separated, would like, how would you know? Well... I don't know. I don't, I don't. I mean, literally. if he had his own crib, maybe if he had his own crib and used to spend the night, then he probably could pull that one off. But at this point right now, there's nothing for you to discuss. There's nothing you need to say, but leave. And I'm so glad I said this today to somebody. Let me tell y'all something. We are responsible for our what? Our heart. Okay. You mentioned this in someone one. I got five on it. And uh, the question was, name five things you close. And one of the things you close, he said, was heart. If you don't take care of your heart, yourself, how do you expect anybody else to? Right. If you don't. I mean, yeah. I mean, the dishonesty to say, okay. I'm not with her anymore. And then you pop up with a whole new baby. Yeah, it's time to walk away. A lot of people who get separated after a few months of being separated, they go back and beat that thing up again. Just to see. Just yeah. to see. Yeah. Plus, they, not, like they may not be sleeping with nobody. They need to get their needs taken care of. And oh. there go again. Uh, you know what? Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> and that could have happened. He could have slipped up and got a pregnant again. Well, got to or again, or could have got to, you know. Well, you still need to run, though. Yeah. Move on. Mm -hmm. See what our good friend Steve is talking about. Uh-oh. What's Steve say? All right. Steve said, the only thing you can do <laughs> right is buy boss. them a box of diapers and stay in your lane. Your role has always been to provide the physical attention he wasn't getting from his wife. You're going to be needed more than you, more than ever, because that six weeks your boyfriend has to obtain abstain from touching his wife after the baby is born will be hell for him to go through. Dang, Steve. 
All right. Pearl said, get out of the sunken place. And B. Hayes said, it's over. Move on quickly. I agree. Quick. Like, do not pass go. When the baby is born, what does he plan to do? That's what you guys need to be talking about. You already know the answer to this dilemma. That's coming for D. Marie. Hmm. She says, you see that he's withholding information? Leave it alone. Very, as she says in caps, important information. Yeah, the withholding part would have just... What What is it to talk about when married men tell you that him and his wife are having a baby? What is it left for you to have to have a conversation about? Because you've had a whole situation. You ain't pregnant. Move on. Yeah. What's up, Deborah? Move on. You're not pregnant. So what you worried about for it? He saved you. He sure did. Yeah. Uh, Monisa says she better she better be glad she ain't pregnant. She should count her blessings. <laughs> so let me tell you what men do in that case. You know what men would do? What? When a man would hear that some you know girl that he was a woman he was messing around with, mm -hmm. and she was pregnant, and mm -hmm. she said it wasn't here. Do you know what men do? What? Oh, no! Yes! <laughs> Especially even if you know it's not yours, right. you, you still, what I mean by that is, you, you know, if it was three, four, five months, whoo, I'm out of there. It's your escape go. Men right. look at it as, oh, it's not mine, I'm gone. Yes. So that's what you ought to say. Whoo, whoo, I dodged this one. Whoo. Run fast. That's what you ought to say. Whoo, I dodged this. I'm so glad I didn't get pregnant. It could have been me. <laughs> it could have been you find out you was pregnant and he's still with his wife and his wife get back together him and his wife get back together and then there you are looking crazy yeah some of these con comments are extremely harsh so um, in a nutshell everybody's saying what is it to discuss there's no reason for us to even have this conversation what are you what you gonna do yeah what, what, what are you gonna do <laughs> Stacy said since when do married folk report to the side piece. You are on a need to know basis. He didn't feel like you needed to know. Play your His position. Family Here we go. business. Z A K Sam Silk, while you get your work on, walk to the show inside of Reality Hour with Little Duvall and uh smile. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we live on Facebook. What's up to everybody on Facebook right now? Shouts out to you. Uh let's read this letter and then we're gonna take a few phone calls. Uh five seven eight zero nine three one. I really don't understand. There's nothing really else I can tell you other than leave and why you've been having this conversation, why you're thinking. But for those who didn't hear the letter, let's read it. All right. Dear Sam, I've been dating my boyfriend for seven and a half months now. He's still married but has been legally separated from his wife for just over a year now. I've had a guard up from previous bad relationships but recently have let it down. Last week, I came across a post on Facebook announcing that he and his wife are having a baby. She has been pregnant the entire time I've known him, and I had no idea. He never once told me. I brought it up to him, and he said he was so sorry. He was afraid to tell me because he loves me and was scared I'd leave. He says that he is happy about the baby, but he doesn't know what to do about his wife. He feels like he would be wrong to leave her because of the baby, but he feels like it would be wrong to stay because of the baby too. He says he is so confused. I'm not mad about him, the, his having this baby with his wife. I'm madder that he chose to keep it from me. This was a huge shock to me. How should I handle this situation? Because I'm confused myself. You was confused before you met him. Don't blame this situation. Because right now is your time to get the hell out of there and you sit over here, what do I do? I'm confused. Look, he's having a child with his wife. Yeah. If he was if he didn't know what to do, he would have never announced it on Facebook. Yeah, let them okay? work that out. You are the side piece. You have a role to play. Ooh. Yeah. That's not nice. No, I'm gonna say it that way. I'm like, I gotta talk like a brother talking. Like a big brother. If what I said hurts you, then you know you need to change today, right now. I got to give it to you just like that. Mm. 
He's playing you like that because you allowing him to play you like that. Got you all confused. For what? For what? He hid it from me. He, he married. He ain't got to tell you that he got a baby on the way with his wife. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't cheat on you. He did. He didn't cheat on her. He's cheating on his wife. Well, they were legally Man, separated. Man, I don't hear that. <laughs> this is her brother talking now. This is her big brother. Okay. You know how big brother you. Now I'm going to give you a hug. Come here. Come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Come here. <laughs> she don't want your hug. Yeah, big brother got you. You know, get yourself together. Yeah. You're making the family look bad. Don't you tell nobody else about this. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, give me a hug. <laughs> now, if he come to the house again, you let me know. I'll be over at the house. You, you hear me? <laughs> but don't you have the family looking like this here? Mm-hmm. You, you, you hear me, girl? You, you, you got that? And don't you go get pregnant, too. Yeah. You better be glad. You could you, you could have been the one pregnant. Yes. And I bet he would announce y'all baby on Facebook. Now, you going to still stay? Mm-hmm.